Hi everyone, uh, my name is A.E. Natarajan and I would like to introduce you to the very first episode of the brand new series we are rolling out here at Juniper. Everyone, welcome to the Meaningful Engagements for New and Tenured Employee Empowerment for short mentee, mentee panel. I'm excited to be the host for today. The panel's mission is to explore the many senior and junior team relationships here at Juniper. Each episode, we will rotate the hosts and rotate different team members, and we'll ask them about the mentor-mentee relationship. I'm here with Phil and Sudhir. Hi, Phil. Hey, Hi, how's it going? I'm, I'm Phil Schaefer. I have been with the company almost 25 years. I worked in the UI group. We generate all the, the tools and languages that are used in the you know, CLI, including the CLI itself, MGD, uh, Air Message, all the build-time infrastructure to support all those. I'm Sudhir Ritter. Uh, I've been in Juniper for the last 10 years. Uh, I'm part of the manageability infrastructure team, uh, uh, managing different components uh, across the suite in terms of open config, streaming telemetry, licensing, automation. I think the, the core piece which provides the required infrastructure for, uh, for the customers to interact with the devices and monitor. This one's for you, Phil. Uh, what is the single most important part of being a mentor to the Junivators here? I love the idea of passing on of, of both the insights and the software. I want to build a team that, that loves and cares for the, the software that we've built. And I also want that team to have the skills and the techniques and the disciplines uh, that are required for development and maintenance of large software projects. So the, this is one that's for you. What is the single most important thing about having relationship with the more senior junivators? I think it's about uh, building trust uh, in this relationship uh, so that you know, at any at different points, you can reach out to your mentor in terms of any technical problems or any other roadblocks and be open as to seek the feedback where you need to do the right things. And uh, if you have a well-trusted relationship, you know, the mentees are not afraid to go back in terms of talking about failures at the same time. You know, mentors can guide on the right ways to uh, because they have seen that journey, they have seen they have gone through the ex experiences, and from that perspective, they can bring in their insights and tell both from a technical front as well as the industry front which they have gone through and guide a prop, uh, accordingly. So it's really important to have this uh, very good relationship and uh, based on the trust factor. This question is for uh, uh, for the both of you. What kind of impact you want to leave on the company and your team? Okay, this is a tough one uh, because there are many things which you, you know, being with the company for a long time, I have seen how the things which we build are used in by the customers in their deployments and how it's like, uh, even as, how, how it's contributing overall uh, from a Juniper Networks, right? So the, the biggest thing is take up the problems which are, you know, uh, which are challenging because there's always a scope of opportunity uh, to innovate and uh, you can make a meaningful difference. How about you, Phil? I'm proud of the impact our team has had on network management, the industry, in that we provide a precision and robustness that allows uh, network management applications to, to control devices in the network. Phil, to you, you know, what advice can you give uh, generators uh, to help them, those who are early in their careers? I, I think keeping the, you know, the craftsman, journeyman mentality, where you're always trying to learn, you're always trying to do better, you're always trying to improve. There's always room to do. There's always room to learn. There's always room to to reach higher. You know, setting a high standard for yourself and working toward it. I, you know, I think I think has been invaluable for me. Which leaders in our visionaries inspire you in your life, whether it's uh, here in life or at work at Juniper, and what traits? Uh, Epiphany Ajahn Amana, uh, who works for a charity named Zoe Empower. She was a school teacher in Rwanda before the genocide and went to work for aid organizations and found issues with the way relief organizations work. And she came up with a, a better way using education and empowerment and 
using our concepts uh, since 2007, 150,000 uh, orphans in in Rwanda have uh, graduated from our program and you know gone on to to have fulfillment and meaning in life. It's a she was just so creative at looking at the problem, seeing the issues with what was being done, coming up with this uh, completely strange way of approaching the problem and and you know changing the world. Yeah, uh, sometimes we are driven by That's our right. own ways of doing things, and uh, this is uh, this is a different uh, different way. So, Sudhir, back to you. What skills have you have you really uh, has Phil helped build, and you've learned learned from him? And soft skills, technical skills, leadership skills, any kind of things. Why don't you talk about it? Yeah, sure. So the primary thing uh, which I feel is the ownership, uh, which I I kind of learn and I kind of uh, you know look look upon uh, Phil because I think he has been the architect in terms of developing the API infrastructure. I think the whole concept of you develop a CLI and it expo- it is exposed as an API. I think that still remains true as of today and it's a big differentiator. And thinking from that, I think Phil himself shared his journey that concept itself went through some of iterations and got, you know, um, it got mature. But I think what I still see is while it has been developed 15 to 20 years back, I still see Phil responding to all the mails which come to the UI hackers because we being an infrastructure team, there are multiple teams who look upon how to use these uh, infrastructures and even a basic question is like you know responded with uh, as if you know i still see that pride in terms of yeah this has been long lasting and it has been developed in such a way that even today it has its relevance so i think that that that's like leading by example and most of the people i uh, you know i've seen the team they kind of look at it that okay uh, the responses are coming with such a detail that is triggering a positive behavior in every, in the whole team to also get back and support to the community in terms of uh, providing their, uh, you know, how how to use this infrastructure. So, I think that that speaks volumes in terms of how doing the right thing at the right time and still supporting it. You know, ha- stands the test of time. Um, so, uh, to both of you, you both have been uh, with this team for a while. Uh, what is the most inspiring thing you have seen here at Juniper? Uh, what do you see this company going uh, to be uh, in the next ten years uh, with all the stuff that we're doing? So I think uh, uh, when I joined Juniper, it was like a couple of years back, Juniper was a leader in networking. And now what I see is AI networking leader. So it's that talks over volumes about how Juniper has a muscle to transform themselves and react to the company trends. It's pretty inspirational how the company can adapt to these changing markets, changing trends and make a, you know, take on the challenging problems. And I see that also getting reflected across the teams as a culture uh, where I have seen uh, like in the manageability team or a team which we work in, we have seen a lot of changes, be embracing to the new technologies and ourselves growing to adopt to these changing trends. So that's inspirational how company can adopt to and react to such changing trends. How about you, Phil? What do you see um, through this process and where do you see us in the next 10 years? Uh, to me, the most inspirational thing about Juniper is the, the way our Employees and customers love us. It's like they have a sweet spot for us, a soft spot for us that, you know, they really care for us. You go and talk to customers, you can feel that, you know, and with employees, we just have a lot of caring about what we're making and, and how we're making it, the importance of it. Thanks, Phil. Uh, thanks, Sudhir. Sudhir, to you again, uh, during your tenure here at Juniper, what was some of the, what is the biggest challenge that you have seen and uh, how did you grow from that? And uh, could you share some of your learnings through the process? I think being in the networking industry, I think our we play a very pivotal role for our customers, and we always need to think from what how what we can we do to simplify the customers' problems. And when these problems come, the the, the biggest challenge is how do we kind of solve them on a timely manner? And that's when I have seen that some of the largest problem when when they come, we kind of work cross functional with multiple teams and represent as one Juniper team, like forgetting all the silos of or different different features or anything like that. So I think that is something which I have seen and I've grown that uh, think customer first and uh, represent yourself as a one team. And, you know, the customer will always love you as, if, if, for the kind of response you, uh, you, know, you provide as part of that uh, engagement. That's, uh, that's coming to the finish line. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you all for being with us today. I learned something through this process. I hope uh, you all do enjoy it. And uh, we hope to see you next time at the next Mengti panel. Thank you.